To open the bag, pull the strip at the top of the bag and take the spur to out. If the spur 2 is packed in a compressed state, unfold the spur 2 by pulling on the patient valve and the inlet valve. Do not pull the reservoir bag, tearing may occur. Before use, test that the spur 2 is functioning correctly. The right testing procedure can be seen in paragraph 8 in the directions for use. Attach the mask to the patient valve if the spur 2 is not intended for use with an endotracheal tube. The spur 2 can be used together with a peep valve to increase the expiration pressure. To use the peep valve, attach it to the expiratory connector. When the spur 2 has been prepared and tested ready for use, it can be used for ventilating the patient. With one hand, hold the mask so that it covers the patient's nose and mouth and start ventilating with the other hand. By using the swivel attached to the patient valve, the spur 2 can be placed in a 360 degree angle in relation to the patient. To ensure a better grip, the Spur 2 Adult and the Spur 2 Pediatric are equipped with a handle. If needed, the handle can be turned away by holding the patient valve with one hand and turning the handle away with the other hand. If needed, the O2 tube can be connected with an oxygen source. The oxygen supply is working correctly if the reservoir bag is inflated. When using an endotracheal tube, the Mediport can be used to administer medication without disconnecting the Spur 2 from the tube. The administration of medication can be done by removing the Mediport cap, mounting the syringe in the Mediport and injecting the medication. When the medication has been injected, ventilate 5 to 10 times in quick succession. Medication can also be administered by sticking the needle through the middle of the Mediport cap and injecting the medication. When medication has been injected, ventilate five to ten times in quick succession. When ventilation has been terminated, put the spur 2 and accessories back into the carrier bag and keep it close to the patient for possible later use. Throw away the spur 2 if it's not intended for any further use on that specific patient. For further questions regarding the spur 2, consult the directions for use placed in the carrier bag.